If you pour milk before the cereal, you are a lunatic. Yo, man. What's up, man? What's going on? How we doing? I'm good, you? Good, good. I'm so sorry, bro, that I was late. No, no, no worries. I genu <laughs> like, it wasn't like any type of revenge. It was just like, genuinely, I, I forgot. <laughs> no, no worries. Where I know, are you from? Crazy. New York. Nice. I want to go to New York. Yeah. Bro, is, is it like... Have you ever been or no? No, I really want to go for the sole reason of like flipping stuff. I want to go to Goodwill, like garage sales and like flip stuff. As I heard like Gary Vee said that it works. Right. So I want to make money because like... And also like, yeah. I love flipping. Bro, does it work? Have you tried it? I've never tried it, no. But uh, I've heard good things. Uh, are, you, are you planning to try it? Maybe. So, something to think about. How about you watch like Gary yeah. V's like garage sales, and they might get you definitely. like into it. I've I've definitely seen his videos. Oh, so you I, know I've Gary V? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, every, everyone knows him in like America. What's what's happening? Oh yeah, everybody. Yeah, oh my. Especially in New York. <laughs> oh, yeah, because like he's everywhere there. That's why. So. Yeah. Definitely. Where are you from? I'm from Cyprus. Do you know Cyprus? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, are you, are you for real? Yeah. Because you know how I know Cyprus? From the World Cup. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because, like, I, I, Cyprus is, like, the very small island. It's, like, smaller than New York. Well, what's the population of New York? How many people are there? Um, I think in New York City, I think it's, like, 9 million, maybe. What? Cyprus is like 800k, 800k the the whole Cyprus. Whoa, like that's Shit. cool. Anyway, are, 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 you, are you ready? Oh wait. Yeah, sure. New York, it's 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 almost 19 million. Actually. 19 million, the whole New York. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, that's like 19 times more than Cyprus. Crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Anyway, are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. So first of all, like, do an introduction of yourself, like, how'd you get started with this social media stuff, with TikTok and stuff, and your journey? Yeah, Begin. sure, so I was, a few years ago, um, I was in college here in New York, and I didn't feel like I was, I guess, learning as much as I wanted to, mm -hmm. so um, I wanted to, like, start my own business, and uh, back, like, before I was born, my grandpa had passed away from cancer so I decided to like kind of combine those two passions and then I started a sock brand called Cancer Sock Co which is like it's C-A-N-S-W-E-R because the idea is to help find the answer to cancer um, and so just through that I did a lot of uh, like promoting through social media and um, nice. I had always worked with and like become friends with uh, all like different creators and then six months ago is when I started TikTok. I never had like a personal brand. It was always um, it was always just the socks. And uh, so like six months ago, a bunch of my creator friends, like we were having lunch one day and they were like, this TikTok stuff is crazy, you know, like they were getting a bunch of views and they said it was like super easy. And I, I never... I could never fully commit to making a YouTube channel, so I, I always kind of mm. wanted to, but I never did. And then like six months ago, I started TikTok, and uh, it just worked well. Yeah. yeah, good for you, man. I mean, like also like YouTube is hard because it's like long form content. You need the equipment, you need like the editor and stuff. It's kind right. of really hard. You need like money up front. Whoa, something right. happened to your camera, bro. Oh. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so now, what are, what are some mistakes that you, like, learned, that, that you did, and now you, like, you, like learned from them? Um, from, like, did, what did I learn from my, like, creator friends? From, like, your journey on TikTok or, like, your creator friends or, like, generally as a creator? <sighs> well, I guess to anyone who wants to be a creator right now, um, TikTok is the best place to do it. Like, 
it's really it's i don't know it's it's super easy like i feel like it's the type of thing where when you start to do it you don't know what you're doing and mm-hmm. so it doesn't work too well um but i mean i really just kind of got a couple pointers from uh some of my creator friends like the, the most important thing i think with a tiktok video is getting the viewer's attention in the first like two or three yeah. seconds like the yeah. first two or three seconds is so important is it like the hook um yeah exactly so it's like if your first two or three seconds is boring then probably people will just skip through it yeah um so i kind of just went with like I just made videos on things that I was interested in and I tried to make it as like, I guess like viral as possible. Mm-hmm. I did my best to mm. catch viewers' attention in a short, good. Bro, you're, you're, uh, you're, la- you're lagging a bit. You lagged. You lagged out. For everyone, it just kind of clicks and then you just get it. Fam, you lagged. From the point that you said like, I tried to make it as viral as possible, you lagged. Your, your everything lagged. Uh, well, yeah, so I just, I tried to, I mean, I've just basically tried to make the first two or three seconds as, as uh, catchy as possible. Yeah. And then just like, I feel like at some point um, it just catches and then you realize like a video gets viral, goes viral. And then the thought is like, okay, well, why did that go viral? You know, like yeah. it's cool if a video goes viral, but I think the most important part is to learn how to make videos go viral more consistently. How, uh, how can people go viral? What's your like tips? Also like including the knowledge that your creator friends gave you. Um, I mean, there's a lot of ways to, I guess, go viral, but I think the most important thing is to be making videos that you're interested. Like, I feel like you can't just go for videos that you think are going to be viral because you want to go viral because I feel like it takes a while before you can get a video that does really well. So yeah. like if you're just miserable making the videos and mm. not going to be good. Yeah, I think like what, what I agree with that like also what I realized for my journey I started like in August because of Gary V and like mm-hmm. I started like making things that I like but I was doing quantity and I wasn't like putting like the best effort in that one video. And for the past one week, I've been doing like one video and the best possible I could. And then I started blowing up because like I put effort, I did like the first three seconds, like it will be catchy and stuff. I did transitions, I did like subtitles and stuff. And this is like one of the ways that I went viral. From the past week, I got to like 200K, uh, 150K views of that videos. And that like, as a 16K oh. followers creator, that's a lot. Yeah, no, that's great. I mean, keep going. And, and it's crazy too, like, at some point, like, brands start to reach out and then, like, people are making serious money with this stuff. Yeah. Also, like, what are your thoughts about quantity versus quality? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, like, I think... Some days, like, some days I'll make, like, yesterday, for example, I made three videos. Yes. Uh, in the first, like, three or four hours, all of them did, like, okay. Like, I think the f- one of them got a little lower. One of them was at, like, 10,000 or whatever. And then uh, the other two got, like, maybe 40 to 70,000. Yeah. And then I was like, huh, like I was thinking about the whole quantity versus quality thing. And I was like, maybe, maybe I just shouldn't post that many. But then like later at night, one of the videos uh, grew to like 600K and the other one, and one of the other ones grew to like a million. So I was like, I don't know. Like some days I post things and yeah. they do really well. Some mm-hmm. days I, I kind of just try to not pay attention to it. Yeah, I feel like every creator kind of has this argument with themselves where it's like, yeah. there are certain things that you want to create mm-hmm. for yourself. And, and yeah. I feel like in the beginning, maybe I didn't, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I just tried to make 
like videos. Yeah, that I did mean, really like, bro, well. no, no one knows. For real, like, no one knows. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes you have but to try out. But then at some point, you sort of. Yeah. But then I'm, at some point, I think you sort of like get into the groove of it. And yeah. there's certain things that I'm like, I'm just going to make this. And if it does well, then it does well. And if it doesn't, then like, whatever. Yeah, you know? I mean, like, what Gary V said about like quantity leads to quality. He means like by trying out, then you understand what works and what doesn't work. And then you can like go to quality. But like also like quality is important. Okay. I mean, like some days you don't feel like doing your best and you want to put out content for yourself. Just you, just because like you want it, okay? It's just like working out or like playing basketball. Sometimes you just want to play basketball, and have fun. Other days you want to like go hard. For sure. I want you want to go slow, or, like yeah. go easy. It's like the same things with creators and stuff. So like, but consistency of a rule is important. You can't just post like one video every one month and like you expect to do something. Like, yeah, man, like consistency. No, definitely. So it's like, yeah, I think, I think you definitely have to um, sort of find that balance. Because at the same time, if there are certain days where I'm like, man, I don't feel like making anything, you know? So I feel like you just got to you gotta push yourself, but also you can't force it. Because I feel like even if, if I force it, it's like I'm unhappy with it. And then usually if you force it, like the video doesn't even... Yes. I mean, like, I don't know how it works, but, like, the viewers feel the emotion behind the camera. If you, like, force it or not. If you're genuinely, like, excited, it like, generally does well. I don't know how it works, but I, like, I don't know how it works. What are some things that are, you're yeah. thinking about the creator life? Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, like, are you thinking, like, of, like, doing this? Are you thinking of starting YouTube? Are you thinking about... TikTok like going away because like it's banned in India now. Are you thinking about like switching up your content? What are you thinking as a creator? Or like uh, what mistakes yeah. are you doing right now? What you what you should do more of? Yeah. I'm I'm definitely trying to slowly sort of like spread my audience across a few platforms just cuz I'm scared of like I really don't think TikTok is going anywhere, but you never know. Like, yes. like, like what happened with Vine, you know? Yeah. Um, like, don't so, forget, like, now it's banned in India. Like, India is like yeah. a big, very big population. Because me and my friends always yeah. said, like, when a video goes to India, it blows up. And because Cyprus is closer to India than the US, I think. Like, whenever it reached India, it blows up. So now that's gone. So who knows what's going to come up next. And also, like, YouTube and Facebook yeah. started, like, a new app, like, TikTok co to compete. And let's not forget that YouTube, Facebook, TikTok are companies and they're competing. Like, Tesla and Ford. Right. One time Ford will be in front, other time will be Tesla in front. So, like that. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I guess I'm definitely, I'm thinking of just trying to start doing YouTube, seeing if I can, like... I guess that's like a real test of like if I can get my audience onto other platforms. Um, I'm thinking of just trying to do more like long form content, mm -hmm. but I don't, I wouldn't want to make too long like videos that are too long. Like I mean, instead of like the thirty second videos I make on TikTok, maybe I'll do like five to seven minute videos or oh, something. Oh, you, you mean for YouTube? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but like for YouTube, like you need to have either an edi editor or like edit it yourself and it takes like a good amount of time, more than TikTok does. Yeah. So like, what are you thinking? Are you thinking of like getting an editor, like doing it yourself? Um, I think I would at least try to do it myself just because I think that's like a good skill to learn. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I guess we'll see if it takes a bunch of time. If it takes too much time, to the point where like it's not even worth it for me to be editing um then maybe i'll i'll uh yeah okay I'll like, get a, a good idea for you that i'm doing right now is like i'm interviewing people so it doesn't take a lot of mm -hmm. amount of editing you just start the video like with the with the microphone here you like synchronize it with the video and the audio and then you like and then you like post it on like the youtube stuff with a thumbnail like the title so it doesn't take like a good amount of Editing like yeah. the vlogs do like some transition stuff. So like then you cut into clips like I did with another Cypriot famous TikToker. I got like 20 clips out of it 
and like from the first five clips go like 20k views and you say to them like throughout the 20k no throughout the 20 clips to go on your youtube so you get a good amount of of views on tiktok and they transition to your youtube so like you grow both so that's a good yeah. amount if you don't have an editor. No, for sure. That's, that's definitely idea. a good idea. That's a, that's a really good idea, to be honest. Yeah, no, that's great. I mean, I think I think that's what a lot of people, like Gary Vee does that. I think a lot of people do that. Um, it just saves a lot of time and energy. Oh, yeah, Gary Vee does that. The, the, how do you call it? The content pyramid. You have one long form of content, and then like, you put it into audio, you put it into like, clips, quotes, and stuff. Like you recycle yep. stuff. And you take it after two yep. years and you bring it back, like Gary Vee does. And he has a team. Yep. Okay. Like, does not forget he has he had before the coronavirus he had like a 20, 21 people team on the team Gary Vee. Let's not forget that. Okay. That's not that's that's not a few people. For sure. Yeah. No. I mean, they're they're working to pump out like content. That's all crazy. Day. Crazy man. Yeah. So maybe one day. Yeah. Maybe one day. Yeah, we will, man. Don't worry. Like, hey, bro, you have like creative friends. You're going onto a good path. How many followers do you have now? For sure, um, two hundred and seven to two hundred and eight thousand. That's nice. Uh, are you thinking about like promo? Are you doing, uh, thinking about doing sponsorships? So you, so you can make uh, money I've and get the editor. Yeah, I've I've done a couple of sponsorships. That's nice. So like maybe maybe you can do sponsorships and like get an editor, so you editor can like cut the clips into down, and like it can also be like, you can pump up content everywhere with that. Yeah, for you sure. have like clips into the interviews and stuff. That's one idea. Okay, now let's go into yeah. like more quick questions, like rapid fire, more entertaining stuff. Let's if, do it. If animals could talk, which would be the rudest? If animals could talk, which would be the rudest? Uh, turtles. Turtles, not snakes. Yeah, maybe snakes too. I didn't think of that. Oh, That's okay. a good one. <laughs> Although it's your like question. <laughs> In one sentence, how would you sum up the internet? Um, a place for everyone. How many chickens will it take to kill an elephant? A hundred and eighty-three. Oh, <laughs> nice exact number. I like that. Any thoughts on climate change? <laughs> What's that? Any thoughts on climate change? We gotta save the world. Are you happy? Am I happy? Yeah. Why? I'm happy. I don't think anyone's like. Nobody's happy all the time. I mean, we're all humans. But like, yeah, I'm, I'm a happy, I'm a happy guy. Except fucking Gary V. Gary V. I don't know. He pushed Except something Gary. like but fucking happiness a human. hormones. He's a robot. Yeah. Really, honestly, I like. I don't know how he does it. Like, he's a fucking robot or something. Does he have yeah. any family problems or something? I feel like he has no problems except from his business stuff. Yeah, he's he's very he's a robot. Next a machine. Question. What's the weirdest thing a guest has done at your house? The weirdest thing a guest has done at my house. That's so interesting. <laughs> what a specific question. Where do you think of these questions? Um, hmm. <laughs> uh, like maybe like thrown up. Oh, okay. Like, okay, let's take a pause. Like, I want to say that. I recommend you to watch the the documentary What the Health and uh, how you call it? What the Health and and I, I don't remember the other documentary. It's about like science based like preventing diseases and stuff. Scientific research about like diseases and like preventing diseases and stuff. Maybe you get some value out of it. I've seen it. Like I like it. There's some stuff. Harvard studies, Oxford studies, Cambridge studies. I'll check it out. Yeah, I, th I think it's cool. I like I I I showed my parents also that because like my family family member died of cancer last year. So like it's good to know how to prevent sorry, diseases. You know, it's okay. Man. Mm -hmm. uh, what would the what would be the worst thing for the government to make illegal? Hmm. The 
the absolute worst thing? Uh, like your, I guess like your right to own a business. If people couldn't like, if people couldn't like, I guess pursue their dreams, yeah, then that yeah, would yeah, be yeah. terrible. Do you prefer to take revenge or forgive? Um, forgive. Most important thing everyone must start doing. Um, following their dreams. Most important thing that everyone must stop doing. Um, procrastinating and telling themselves that they can't do what they want to do. Yeah, but like, let's not forget that they have, may have like toxic parents. I'm not saying you're judging them. I'm just like saying okay. that they might have, have toxic parents, toxic friends, rough past. I like they procrastinate because that, like, as Gary Vee said, they don't like what they're doing. Feel me? Yeah. So like agreed. people like start, what you, start liking what you're doing, find something that you like. And if you have like a toxic friend, toxic, toxic family member, fucking cut his head off. Not, not literally, like metaphorically. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, what do you want to be remembered for? Um, hmm. I want to be remembered for making, I just, I feel like the most important thing is being able to connect with people and having people like resonate with what you say. I guess just making people feel something. Yeah. How much do you think about your legacy? Um, a lot. That's nice, me too, why? I don't think I should. I don't think it's a good thing to think about. No man, it's good, um, it keeps things into perspective for me. Definitely. No, it, it de definitely does. But, um, why do I think about it a lot? I don't know. I guess because this, I, like, aside from, like, religion or whatever anybody believes in, like, this, mm -hmm. what, like, what we're doing now only lasts so long, right? So, yes. like, you always think about, yeah, in this short amount of time, how will I leave my mark? Yeah. And, I'm, like, how, yeah. I, I, like, nobody wants to just not be remembered for anything, you know? Yeah, yeah, true. Like for me, as Gary Vee said that, we start, like he said about like, what are you gonna be remembered for? Are people gonna show up to your funeral? And like at the beginning, I started like thinking it like in a bad way. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. But now I'm right. switching it. I'm gonna die. Like, what should I do now before I die? Like, now it motivates me. I, like. This, honestly, the same thing happened to me. Like, actually, it's funny because somebody asked me that question yesterday or the other day and they were like, what motivates you the most? And I was like, death. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, and they man. were like, what? But then once you think about it, it's like, it makes sense. Like, I, I could see why somebody would, would just think about it negatively. But also, I don't know, for me, I, I think the exact same way. It's like, you only live once. Yes. Got to gotta, gotta do this the best man, I can. Man, to be honest, like... Uh, in this, I'm struggling a bit because like, okay, we're going to die, we're going to live once, but like for the other people, they're only going to live once. So like, I mean, like how much should I look after my parents? Okay, not look after them, like spend time with them, spend time with my family and friends. Like how much, how, to, how should I balance it? But like, I realized that I should be happy first. And when I'm happy, I take some time out with my family. Like I asked them, like, how much time do you need for me? How much time are we like both happy? Like before I was like, I was like not focusing on myself. I was like, they're going to die, they're going to die, they're going to die. So like, give them time, give them time. Because like, you don't know when my friends or like family are going to die. You feel me, man? For sure. What's stopping people from being happy? Um, hmm. Well, I mean, obviously a lot of things. I think the most common things are themselves, mm. outside factors, and like literal like medical conditions, like act like medical depression and stuff. How can people become more happy? Um, I think like if you can do what you love for work that could make mm -hmm. you happy and if you can't like you said before some people have 
like outside factors that put them in an environment to like not allow them to do that. So in which case, I guess there's an extra step and it's like make your environment better, like remove toxic people and then do what you want. Yeah, man, it's like, it's like the house. The house must have a good foundation. If the house has a very good foundation, then like nothing can take it down. But like if it has a very weak foundation, it can easily be taken down. And the foundation is like sure. your family and friends. When you have like, when you have like a very strong fucking relationship with your family and friends, then you're succeeding. Because like they will keep you, they will keep you accountable. They will make you delusional. They will say the truth to you. They will support you. They will like, or like they will do also some research and help you and stuff with your goals and stuff. Like that's very strong. Your camera, man. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think that's like a super important thing, especially because like, I don't know, for example, it's like, I'm lucky enough where like my, uh, like my, my family is fully supported, which is great. Like, it's mm -hmm. funny. My, my dad probably checks how my TikTok's doing more than I do. You know, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's nice, man. Uh, also, like one more question. Um, what do yes. you think about retirement? For example, like when people come to an age, for example, let's say 60, 65 and they stop the job and they sit at town at home. Um, I don't like, I, I don't see myself ever doing that, but I guess I'm not in the same, uh, I'm not in the same boat as them. So I, I can't, I guess I, you can't really say until you get there, but it's like, I would like to think that every year of my life, like, I would like to think that I'm going to be cooler when I'm 75 than I am now. Yeah, man, you know, like, I wish I'm cool at 75. Like, I want to be cool yeah. at that age. Like, it would be so cool if I'm cool at that age. Like, damn, man. Hell yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Also, what I'm thinking is that, what I, why I ask you this question is like, every, every old person I see that's retired and does nothing is completely sad and depressed because they have no money, they have nowhere to go, they're waiting for their grandchildren's time, where the grandchildren's, like, now they're gonna start living their life, and they're sad. And like, that's why like, if, if, you, have, if, you, if you have observed any retirement, retired person who's happy, like I'm trying to find out because like most people do that and most people become happy at the, at the late years of their life. And it's close to death. For sure. <laughs> and that's why like, I don't you don't, you don't really you. have a choice. It's your last chance. And yeah, yeah. Why, why are you like wasting 30 years of your life? Agreed. Um, are you single? That's the only personal no. question. No need to like answer it. If you want. No, no, no. That's fine. No, I'm not. Are you, are you looking for anyone? No, no, no. I, I'm not single. I'm in a relationship. What? I'm not single. Ah, you're not single. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's the best advice you have been given? Um... So I, this comes with like a little bit of a story. Um, sure. So after I graduated college, I got a job in finance, which is what I studied, and I hated it. Mm -hmm. um, it was horrible. So I quit on my birthday, and I started, uh, like in the next month afterwards, I just started interviewing for jobs. Um, I was trying to find something in fashion because I thought that it was just more relevant to what I was doing. And so I figured at least if I have to have a job, I can learn, um, I can learn something, uh, that'll apply for later on when I quit and finally pursue what I want. So yeah. I went on an interview, um, with this woman, her name is Jay and, uh, she, she owns, the biggest uh, women's sweater wholesaler in the world. I was really excited to interview with her. <laughs> and so I was applying for this job at her company. And um, we were just talking. She was telling me her story. Uh, she's, she's Korean. She's like 65 years old. Uh, she was born in Korea. She 
grew up working in um, a sweater making factory with like poor conditions and her family moved here. She had a, uh, a job as a cashier at a grocery store in Chinatown. One day she quit her job and started this company and it's super, super successful. And I was really inspired by that. Um, and so then she asked, she, she saw on my resume the whole Cancer Saco thing. She asked me about that. And we ended up just having this really good conversation. And uh, sh- that day, I'll never forget. I, I will literally never forget this day. Um, so the whole time I was like, I'm hoping I'm impressing her and whatever. Like, I want this job. <laughs> and she was like, after we spoke about like our past, she was like, look, you can have this job. I think you're smart. I think, uh, you're really, you're really motivated. Um, and I would love for you to work for me. I was like, great. And she was like, but I don't think you should do it. And I was like, what? (laughs) Like it just wasn't what I was expecting. So she's like, um, you need to you need to pursue this like you this is this is what you're passionate about um and she's like you can you can come here every week and i will help you but like i i won't let you work here because this is just this is not for you and that that's definitely the best piece of advice i've ever gotten i'll never forget like because that's obviously not what you expect when you want a job interview right so um, so I, I left her off, her office was in Times Square and I, I walk out of the building and I sit down at this like table and I'm just thinking like, what just happened? Like what just happened? What's um, life? What is life? Yeah. So that's definitely the best piece of advice I've ever gotten. Fam, like I think this shit is because of karma. Like I believe in karma so much. I don't know how it works or why it works, but like. Karma, man. What do you, do you believe in karma? I agree. I, I, I totally just, I mean, I just believe in like that energy where like at that, I needed that. I needed that so bad. And, um, fam, fam. And That's, it came like at the, at the perfect time. So I'm like, sometimes like we get like unlucky, but that's like us being lucky at that moment. Maybe like, I didn't get the job and maybe on that road that if I got the job I would get I would go in a car accident so I don't know man how life works man you just needed that at the exact time with the with that woman she gave you that the best advice people just be kind show love like be a good person fucking works like if you if you're gonna be a, a good person for selfish reasons okay okay do it like good for you if you could say one thing to the entire world what would it be hmm. i feel like i have said this a lot yeah um but it would just be to do what makes you happy like i see especially i mean i don't know what maybe what things are like there but especially here i just see it's like everybody sort of follows the same path and in my head i'm like there's no way everyone's happy like there's just no there's no way Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. and so i just feel like i just feel like there's so much pressure to be a certain way and so it's like just ignore it yes fam like one second like something happened to my dog or something i don't know like it's crying the the no you're all good they're, they're fucking barking. I don't know, like, if he, if if they're gonna attack. One second. Okay, man. I'm sorry. Nothing happened. All good. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm gonna. I heard the crying. But she's a crybaby, right, Sandy? <laughs> like, man, but like, people being unhappy, I think it's because of various reasons. One, because of judgment. 
Two, because like they don't, they don't, have, don't have a good foundation and that's important. Three, they don't like conflict. So maybe they have a toxic friend, bad friend. And they don't like want to go against that conflict. Just tell them like, this is not working out. Like we cannot hang out anymore together. Because I have people like saying, this friend of mine is so toxic, but like, I don't know how to say it to him or her. Like, I don't want to ruin our, our friendship for like with the th three months that we had left or something, or like one year, two years. That's hard. Fam, I, I got like a few, qu a few more questions. Do you want to go? Are you in a rush? Um, I got like, I got like five minutes. Let's knock them out. Okay, let's do it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, what's the funniest joke you know by heart? Oh God. Um, <laughs> that's a really good question. I don't think I have a single joke. Okay, next, next question. You wanna go <laughs> to, the, to the next question or like you wanna think about it? Sure thing. Next question. Yeah, let's do the next question. Okay, um, if you were held a gun, to your head and you had and you they were telling you that you have to impress Im, impress them with your dance moves what dance moves would you like throw out um you have to show us by the way i i'd probably i'd probably end up dead there no you would do no no dance moves i i'd probably be dead yeah no man nothing <laughs> man fucking renegade renegade I mean, something I'd i don't know give it a shot what yeah yeah Maybe maybe I'd give it a shot at one of the like TikTok dances or Pam, something. You won't do but this. The backpack kid. I don't know how you do it. Okay, maybe the microphone will fall off. Like this. You won't do that. <laughs> See, but I feel like they wouldn't be impressed by it. I I'd probably try something like that, but they'd probably be <laughs> Can you lick your elbow? Um No, definitely not. Is cereal a soup? No. What do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, hopefully doing the same thing on a way bigger level. Nice, man. Why do you make amazing content? Why? Wait, wait. Be before you answer that, I want to ask you this, this, this another question. How d what's the next step to take your content to the next level? You think that you're not doing now and you, and you have to do? Um, I think making it more planned out and also increasing the quality, mm -hmm. like the editing and stuff. Fab, I'm telling you, I tried quality and like, it works, man. It works. Like, because like, if yeah. you had subtitles and like moving to the face and more like up tune and like better music, that better, like that single better music that like makes it like 5% more. Gives a TikTok algorithm sure. another like run. If it goes like another run, it goes like to more people. And like it has more chance to spread even more. That little bit like makes, okay, no, like very, very, very little bit. That, may, that won't make a difference. Agreed. Why do you make amazing content? Why? Why do you make amazing content? Do I? <laughs> yeah. Um. It's fun. I enjoy it. I never, I didn't, I more so started with just curiosity. Just never to like make, make money or uh, anything like that. It was more so just curi curiosity. Um, yeah. And so I feel like when you're just interested in something, it'll work eventually. Yes. What's the worst TikTok trend? Ooh. Maybe this isn't necessarily like a, this isn't like a specific trend, um, but I think the dancing is the, is, I don't want to say the worst thing, because like, it's not, it's not that I dislike the dancing it's on, not interesting on TikTok. To you. Well, it's not interesting to me, but also I think, and I think this is slowly happening, but I think it would be cooler if there was just a, like more diversity in the content. Yeah. 
Who would you love to for me to have on the podcast next? Do I have to be realistic, or can I say anyone? You can say anyone, and I will. I will have to guarantee or cannot guarantee. I will try my best to get him up here. That's for you, and maybe we can do like a Zoom call that I can bring you in. Hopefully, I can do it. Elon Musk. Fuck, man. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. How can we do that, bro? Elon, if you're watching this right now, man, come on. Come on, Elon. Just five come minutes on. of your time. Bro, let, let's, let's make a piece, a piece of content for TikTok. Okay, let's, let's do it again. So, who would you like to bring for me to bring on the podcast? I have to try my best to do it. Elon Musk. My God, man. That's, not, that's my real reaction. We didn't fake it, right? <laughs> Elon, come on the podcast. We didn't come say it on. twice. <laughs> Fuck, man. Okay. But how can we do it? Like, for real. Get Elon Musk? Yeah. I don't know. Man. Make a TikTok <sighs> about it. I think I'm thinking of like DMing Team Gary V so we can get Gary V and then Gary V can like send us to the secretary of Elon Musk and then the secretary of I Elon think, Musk. I, I really think you could get Gary V on. Nah, man. I don't think so, man. Elon okay. Musk, yeah. I think, would be would be hard just because I don't know if he really does that stuff. You could get Gary. No, he he did like the one with the Marcus Brown Lee. I might said his name wrong. He's like he has ten million on YouTube. It's a he's a black guy. I don't know if by saying black is oh, racist. Oh oh yeah, I actually I saw they were in the, the Tesla factory or something. Right? Yeah 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 yeah. Bro, I love yeah, I, I love Elon Musk, but for the past few years he haven't getting enough sleep, and now his brain is fucked. So whenever he speaks, it's boring. Like, I'm sorry, Elon Musk, but like, That's fair. I, I will still get a Tesla though. Like, nah. no, I love Tesla, man. Yeah. Tesla, man. Um. Okay, how about Gary yeah, Vee? No, Gary, I, you, you could get Gary Vee. Okay, if if I get Gary Vee, you wanna go like, you wanna like be hiding in the Zoom call, and I bring you on, and I wish surprise the fuck out Absolutely. of him. Absolutely. Oh, 100%. Fam, I got an idea. If I'm, if, I, if I'm Gary Vee, okay, I, I tell him to go like bring his, I don't know, jet t-shirt that he loves the most. And like, when he like leaves the room, you jump in and then I leave. And then like you continue the, the normal conversation. Bro, that was sick. Now we have to execute. That would be funny. Execute. <laughs> We're gonna fucking prank Gary I love v. it, man. Love it. We're gonna prank the fuck out of him. <laughs> Man, hopefully we, we can do that. But how come we... Do you know his email? Yeah, he has a public email. Is it Gary Vaynerchuk at VaynerMedia.com? I don't know. It might just be Gary. Let me see. How do you know? It's Yeah, it's, it's Gary at VaynerMedia.com. Are you sure? Huh? Are you sure? Yep. Fuck, I don't have a piece of paper. Fuck. 100%. Okay, I'm going to um, here. Gary yeah. at... But I think you might be honestly better off making a TikTok and being like... You ever see those ones where it's like doing this until Gary V gets on my podcast? I don't know what you would be doing. Mm. But like like somebody did a shooting myself with a paintball gun until David Dobrik shoots me with yeah. a paintball gun. Fuck, you know? man. Fuck. Ve yeah. Okay, Gary at VaynerMedia.com. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna write this shit down as fuck. Where should I put it? Where Hell I yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep it here. And I, wh what should I do, man? We need I don't him know. on. We need him on the fucking podcast, man. It could just be like posting until Gary V gets onto my podcast or something. He'll see it, honestly. Like, he'll see it. I think you could... I really think you could get it. Fuck, okay. I'm gonna try my best. And I'm gonna bring you on, like... Let's hope... Let's hopefully, like, I don't forget about you. <laughs> no, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, I won't. Don't so forget. I can bring you on. Um, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Uh... 
Uh, to be able to read minds. Sick. Have you committed a crime? No. D does it I mean, well, I mean, depends what you mean. Like, I've like, maybe not stopped for three full seconds at a stop sign before, but like, no, never a real one. Okay. And does a straw have one or two holes? What was that? Oh. Hmm. I think it's one hole. What's the most stupid thing you've seen in your life? The most stupid thing I've seen. Maybe in, in the in, in the fucking street or something. Doesn't have to be a TikTok or a movie. Can be anything. Um. Hmm. Or the most cringiest thing. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to think. The other day. I was near, you know, Madison Square Garden? Yeah. I was near there, and somebody tried to, like, steal stuff from, like, a homeless guy. That's not funny, but it was just like, what's wrong with you? You're stupid. <laughs> man, I was trying yeah. so much not to laugh, man. But well, that's funny. Yeah. I mean, like, it's not acceptable, but it's funny, man. I mean, like, he's trying to steal money from, from a poor person. It, uh, actually, it's exactly the same thing. But, like, he's trying to steal a, Ro a Rolex from me that I don't have a Rolex. Like, are you fucking dumb yeah. or dumb? But, like, okay, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's understand. Let's, like, show some understanding. Maybe he was, like, in a very big situation to steal just anything. Maybe it's to survive, get food or something, drink, like, I don't know.